Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakhar Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world England calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, whom the world England calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect, the 144,000 men doing His work in sincerity and truth. And you, uh, one third of you fellow believers out there, you brothers and a few sisters, to you all, I say Shalom and greetings. Uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So um, I got another. Uh, I, I found this this photo that a brother had posted, um, and hey man, it, it's getting real. You know this. Um, what is it? New Zealand announces quarantine camps for those who refuse to be tested. You know, this is a. Uh, this is the time that we're living in now where we're about to start seeing these. Uh, we've been talking about FEMA camps and internment camps and these things coming to pass. Right. But see what Esau does is Esau finesses. Right. So he calling them quarantine camps, you know, instead of calling them what they are in prison, what they really should be is prison camps, man. You know, Esau is a, has a way with words. You know, they'll call them quarantine camps or uh, re-education centers. Or re-education camps or facilities, you know, that's that's what they'll call them, man. But lo and behold, Esau is really just trying to find a different way to lock you up for not bending down to his rule and his authority. Um, for it said anyone who refuses to be tested. Okay, so hey, and we you are to refuse uh this uh plague that's out right now. This uh the uh the uh, you know them trying to use their different ways to overthrow this virus. Where you know you had Bill Gates come out and say basically that he uh, what did he, I forget exactly how it was, but that they change your DNA, they change your DNA by uh using this uh to put this into your body, man. You know, and I'm trying to even uh you know not blatantly say it, but y'all know what I'm talking about because uh you know they they just Esau striking videos left and right, so we got to try to be wise even in his uh wickedness man okay um so first let me go to uh revelation the 11th chapter you know i haven't brought this one out in quite some time but you know when we think about those uh quarantine camps and those we, they're called fema camps for a reason because when it comes to emergency and disaster and diseases you know you got you got different branches of government you know you got department of defense you got the uh um uh, CDC, okay, Center for Disease Control and Prevention, you know, um, FEMA stands for Federal Emergency Management uh, Association, something along those lines, uh, and then you also have, um, oh, right, right, I said Department of Defense, so yeah, so when you call them FEMA camps, it's because the FEMA is going to be using, uh, they're going to be in conjunction with uh, the army and things like that to get these people to get people locked up. See, they put on the guys that they're that they're good and they're helping you in a time of emergency and and different difficulty. But they use that Esau has put that in the forefront of people to make it seem like those are the people that's going to help you. But they're really going to lock you up for refusing. And see, this says New Zealand, but this is going to be brought to America. This is on Fox News, right? So that mean. You know, th that's going to be implemented. And th there was an article that I was reading. I was back from August and it was an Instagram user. They try I tried to click on the link, but it wasn't there. But it was an article. It was saying how they're going to have, uh, uh, you know, they were talking about uh, basically these quarantine camps in America. And he said he didn't say uh, chip, <coughs> but he said they're going to have a 5G biometric tracking system where they can find out your financial history, your medical history, your finances, you know, all of that type of stuff. That was in the article. And he said, uh, he said that, that, that that's what they're going to be using. But really that leads to, that's the chip. The thing he was describing the chip and he didn't even say it, but he just know that it's some type of system, electronic system that they're going to have to use to monitor people. You know, he was talking about revelation 13 and 16 and he didn't even realize it. But um, let me get, this is Revelation 11 and verse 13. It says, in the same hour was there a great earthquake and the 10th part of the city fell and the earthquake were slain of men 7,000 
and the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the most high of heaven, the power of heaven. You see that? So it says the same hour was a great earthquake. That's talking about the thermonuclear missiles that are going to destroy America. It says in the 10th part of the city fell, right? So is America divided up in the 10 actual parts? No, right? But it's just the 10th part of the city is really talking about the whole of America, all of America. And it says 10th part because this is a prophecy about FEMA. All right. And people don't even know that this is a FEMA prophecy, right? Who, who would you, you thought the Lord skipped boundaries? Nah, because FEMA, there are 10 FEMA zones in America when you have regions, right? So, uh, and I used to have Lord when I can find a picture, I did a lesson on it a couple years back, but, um, the FEMA zones are breaking up, broken up into 10 different regions throughout the United States. So when it says the 10th part of the city fell, that means all of America is going to be destroyed even where they try to have our people ca captive, man. All right. It says, uh, and, and the earthquake were slain of men, 7,000. That's referring to all of America getting destroyed because we know 7,000 is a number of completion. So anybody who's left here in America, all right, is going to be destroyed. And we know that the elect are going to be beamed about it. It says, and the remnant were affrighted and gave gl glory to the power of heaven. You know, so in that flesh on the way up, getting beamed up to get a new body. You know, you that that fear, that frightened, uh, seeing the missiles coming down and seeing the chariots and all of the great wonders of the Lord. You know, your flesh is getting affrighted, but your spirit is giving glory to the Lord because it's know that that's where the truth lies, man. Okay, but now let me go to, um, you know, I don't have too many scriptures on this, but I want to go to Jeremiah and see this is the spirit. We just brought this out yesterday, but for different reasons. And see, that's the thing. You have certain scriptures that you bring out for a different point within that scripture. You know, we brought this out to talk about the judgment of the two third, but I want to get to it. Uh, you know, which is the judgment of the two third, but it's a point in there. This is Jeremiah 15 and two. It says, and it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt say unto him, thus saith the Lord, such as are for death to death and such as are for the sword to sword and such as are for the famine to the famine and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. So the Lord says, uh, one of the things that he's going to have happen to our people is the captivity. So captivity goes into being a captor, being imprisoned. Okay. And the way that this, this isn't just speaking about your modern everyday prison. Okay. This, this, this new prison that they're forming out their brother, uh, somebody put up a picture recently of, uh, cubicles, uh, like looking like cages, human sized with toilets in them, man. You know, and there were a lot of them, you know, and see that they're setting that up. And I even went into Walmart today and I should have taken a picture of it. I know I should have. And see, now that I'm doing this lesson, I really wish I should have. But, you know, you can tell little things about Walmart. So I walk into Walmart today. They have these now in the you walk through the doors and right before you walk into the grocery section, they have these silver bars. You know how you like see a, a, a subway bus station and then they have those things like in the movies where people just jump over because they don't want to pay the fare. It's like a, it's like silver bars like that inside of Walmart. Now. And I'm like, what the hell do they need those for? You know, but it's to barricade and stop people from going in and out or if they want to form lines, whatever, man. You know, Esau is throwing little stuff in there here and here, bit and bit, just so he can overthrow our people, man. He knows what he's doing, man. He's not slick, you know. So now let me get uh go jump back to Revelation, you know, and see this is why it's so important because uh what's that? Sirach five. It says, uh, "Strive for the Lord unto death, and he shall fight for thee, man." You know, this is some troubling times coming, but it's some beautiful times coming because these are these are the things that we've been speaking of. This is Revelation two and ten. It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. See, they say he's going to throw some of us into prison. Some of us are going to be in internment camps in FEMA camps. Some of us are going to be cast out of our homes. Right. And so now you have these news reporters saying that in New Zealand, they're starting to uh, uh, have these quarantine camps for people who don't want to get tested. And, uh, you know, they also, Dabu was bringing out uh, hotels. He was saying hotels, there are different hotels around the world now that are uh, mandating in order to book a, a night there, you're going to have to have, uh, have, have taken the vaccine. You know, this is all a part of their ultimate agenda, man. 
you see you see this new world order that they're, they're trying to play it out but the thing is they can't upset prophecy and they can't win this war man they can try all of their little tricks okay they can try uh whatever they want to do but they're, they're not going to win man so that's when you have uh men that have been imprisoned okay when you have uh when jeremiah was led down into prison you know so he was uh led down into a miry pit you know but what did he do he kept the faith and believed on Yahweh Shem Shai. I'm going to read this real quick. This is um, Jeremiah 30. I was going to read 37, but maybe it might be better. Yeah, Jeremiah 38 and 6. It says, They took Jeremiah and cast him into the dungeon of Malchiah, the son of Hamalek, that was in the court of the prison, and they let down Jeremiah with cords. And in the dungeon there was no water but mire. So Jeremiah sunk in the mire. You see that? So uh, this is letting you know that these these princes aren't all going to be all pretty either. You know, it's going to be some of them that's people going to be shitting all on the ground. OK, not uh properly using the bathrooms like they're supposed to. It's going to be food. It's going to be mess. OK, you know, this is a uh, this is a, a sad situation for uh, Jeremiah, man. You know, but we, when you feel it, this is you can be spiritually in that low dungeon, but it's also now can come into you in reality, man. Well, who knows where they're going to try to put some men. You might not even get led up to a regular FEMA camp. Men of the Lord, they got special targets for it. They might have a certain spot in there that's just resided just for a, a man of the Lord, man. But hey, brothers, in these troubling times, keep on keeping the faith. You know, for you sisters too, keep on having the faith, man, and keep believing. And you how about Shimmy Al Shai? Is going to deliver you out of that. You know, and actually, let me go and see where Jeremiah gets uh, pulled out. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'll just keep, I'll jump down. Jeremiah 38 and uh, 9. It says, I'll start at 8. It says, A bed Malek went forth out of the king's house and spake to the king, saying, My lord, the king, these men have done evil in all that they have done to Jeremiah the prophet. Whom they have cast into the dungeon, and he is like to die for hunger in the place where he is, for there is no more bread in the city. So they were going to leave Jeremiah there to die. They weren't even going to give him no food, man. You know? It says, uh, Then the king commanded Abedmelech the Ethiopian, saying, Take from hence thirty men with thee, and take up Jeremiah the prophet out of the dungeon before he die. So Abedmelech, uh, and Ab Abedmelech is uh, Ibad Malak, which is uh servant king or king uh uh servant of the king most likely because he was obviously serving uh the king or at this point in time it says took the men with him and went into the house of a king of the king under the treasure and took thence out cast clouts and old rotten rags and let them down by cords into the dungeon to jeremiah that's how you know how deep this was they had to tie rags together man as cords it says, And Abedmelech the Ethiopian said unto Jeremiah, Put now these old cast clouts and rotten rags under thine armholes under the cords. And Jeremiah did so. So they drew up Jeremiah with cords and took him up out of the dungeon. And Jeremiah remained in the court of the prison. Then Zedekiah the king sent and took Jeremiah the prophet unto him into the third entry that is in the house of the Lord. And the king said unto Jeremiah, I will ask thee a thing, hide thee nothing from me. You see, so, of course, he's going to start wanting Jeremiah to prophesy, man. You know, at the end of the day, and that, that's they they're gonna try to do us wrong, but the Lord's gonna have situations like this where you might have a believer, you know, you might have somebody that know about uh the works that we do who might have seen you somewhere, and they're gonna be like, Hey man, you gotta get that man out of here, you know. Uh, or bad things gonna happen to you, man. You know, it's gonna be stuff like when you when that lady spoke of Yahweh Shah, she said she told Pontius Pilate, and even when our Lord got arrested, what she say? She said, uh let the let him go because I've I've had uh, dreams and visions of this man. Let the please have nothing to do with him and let him go. That's what she said, man. So things like that is going to happen. So when you reread that uh, Revelation, the second chapter, you know it says, "Be thou faithful unto death, and the Lord shall give you a crown of life." Man, you know be, it says, "You shall have tribulation ten days," which is a number of completion, man. No matter how long it is, keep having faith in the Lord. And the Lord is going to deliver you out of it, man. All right, he says, "And the elect shall be escaped by their works." And they'll said perils, man. Okay, their faith in their works. So keep having faith even in troubling times, man. But lo and behold, these quarantine camps are coming to a city near you. 
uh, to these two thirds, and even for brothers, man. But keep on believing and having faith, and your heart by Shemiah Yahweh is going to look after you, and it's going to deliver you and your loved ones. So, Lord, when this lesson was edifying, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shemiah Yahweh Shai by Shemra Chakodash, that were honest to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. Until next time, Shalom.